<clears throat> hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Art Book Addiction here. And we're here with a new artist, uh, no, not artist journey. Uh, another sketchbook review, okay? Um, I basically wanted to do this as a, as a live review because of the, you know, recent passing of uh, Kim Jong-gi, right? Which was a very unexpected thing that happened. And, you know, like, I think everywhere, all artists have been, have taken quite the hit, right, basically. And, you know, I just wanted to go over his work, you know, with you guys. You know, this is, like, another, like, my return, you know, as well. Um, I wish I was returning under better circumstances, but that's just the way it is, right? Um, it's really unfortunate, guys, you know? I'm really sad that he's gone now, right? Um... But I want to be here um, with you guys to, you know, kind of just, you know, decompress, right? And like, like, you know, get a, get a better understanding of his work. Um, if, you, if you guys haven't, you know, if you guys don't know about his work, it's, uh, it's really, really good. You know, Kim Jong-gi is a legendary artist. His ink work is just fantastic, okay? Um, yeah. Um, he is a great artist, and I'm very excited to show you guys. Um, yeah, so, uh, before we get into this, please hit that like, hit the subscribe, check out my prints and Patreon if you want to support the channel, and consider becoming a channel member. And with that, let's get into it. Okay. So, let's look at the cover right here. Hold on. Let me make sure my chat is all good. Okay, let's see, so there's no timer, yeah, two minutes, okay, okay, alright, so, <clears throat> yeah, we're just gonna look through his work, you know, hopefully, um, there's people here, and we could, you know, talk together about him, basically, but, you know, first, let's take a look at this cover right here. Um, it's a, you know, I feel like it, it really displays, like, uh, what this book is going to be all about, right? There is a, uh, there is like a, like a, kind of like darkness to it, you know what I mean? Like, it's, you know, like, this is presented in a way that gives it a very, like, gritty feel, you know what I mean? And... Uh, Kim Jong-un is nothing if not gritty, okay? His work is, like, okay, right? It's got a little, it's got an edge to it, right? Um, uh, but yeah, you know, you got this little dentist girl, you know, she's helping out this, uh, shark, it's like, oh, my teeth, you know? Like, he maybe has a, um, a tooth that's being stubborn, you know? I, I know, I know some shark, like, they, they, like, sometimes their tooth doesn't go all the way out, so they need to get, they need to get it pulled out so that the tooth comes out. Is he with a shark or a alligator, right? But something like that, you know, where that happens. I'm like, oh, cool. That's like I didn't know they had like dental problems. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's a cute image, right? And then and a nice one to start of start off with. Okay. Kim Jong E. Kim Jong, Gi. Okay, sorry. It's sometimes it's it's very um, it's very easy to get them confused. Okay. Um, 2011 sketch collection, okay, and you got this, like, little, like, soldier guy, right, who's, who's, uh, you know, it's just, it's just a silhouette, basically, okay. Oh, we got a pig guy, that's cool. What I like about seeing, like, his sketchbook is that he has stuff that's just not, that's not just ink, right, there's, like, he's got markers, he's got paintings, he's got, like, you know, he's, he's showing different mediums, basically. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I like this pig guy. You know, he's a he's a cool dude. Crescendo. Okay. All right. So you can see he's very fond of like this um like changing of proportions, right? 
Um, you can see, like, he does a lot of the, like, big head with, like, kind of small body, like, t t like slight chibi-ish, like, realistic chibi-ish, right? You'll see that a lot in this book. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, with this program, I can't zoom in, so we'll just have to contend with looking at the base image as it is, right? Okay, this one's it's, it's cool, you know? I'm just, I'm just gonna move on. Let's see. Now we got some sketches, we got like little buff guy, right? A woman, cat, nothing too crazy. Oh, dude, look at this guy. <laughs> this is like, um, like Asian Vin Diesel, you know what I mean? Like, you know how they always have like different Vin Diesels now, like throughout the world, you know? It's just bald guy with tank top and jeans. It's like, boom, dude. Vin Diesel, dude. That's cool. You got like some guy in a little hoodie, right? Yeah. He's not as cool as Vin Diesel though, okay? I like his I like how his neck like is like a flap on his on his body, dude. That's cool. So we have buff guy. Uh, is that Kim Jong-un? I don't know. Uh roller, not not rollerblade. Um ice skating woman, okay? And again, you see the that kind of proportion, right? And it's, it's, you know, it's cute. I feel like it's, it's like a, it's a good amount of chibi. You know what I mean? Right? And see, it, it's, things can still look cool, but the heads are just bigger. You know what I mean? So, like, the, I, I think it's like just, just the right amount of chibi. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because there's a lot of times where I don't like the chibi style or like, when the head's big and like like the body is like you know what I mean like it you have to hit it right you know what I mean like sometimes it just looks I'm like I'm like oh that's silly you know what I mean but this is like just the right amount yeah I like this and you can see um his uh his love for crazy detail in his line work okay and you know I think he's a huge inspiration to like you know a lot of artists, but especially um, line artists. You know what I mean? Because you know, like, it's just like he's like one of the one of the top. You know what I mean? So like, oh shit. Okay, fuck, dude. All right. So, okay. Uh, viewer discretion. Okay. There's there's gonna be some some uh, crazy imagery. Okay. Right. I, like I said. Kim Jong Gi, he he draw a little dark, okay. He draw a little bit of the, the dark subject matter, okay. All right. Now with that said, oh my God, Jesus Christ. Okay, so yeah, like I said, um, you know there is a grittiness to his work, dude. Okay, and so what we're seeing here is I'm pretty sure. That it's like, you know, a woman giving birth, right? She seems to be alive, right? And like, um, yeah, it's just a bloody mess down there, you know what I mean? Um, and it's a very violent scene, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Let's try not to look at this too long. Let's just move on. There we go. Much better. We have bunny soldiers. You know what, dude? I'll take that over what I just saw earlier, right? But like I said, it's just to prove a point that, you know, there's a grit to his work. Okay, grit. Okay, this is like real grit, dude. Um, look at that, dude. See, and this is classic Kim Jong-gi right here. This is... Yeah, dude. Oh, we got a comment. Let's see. Uh, Cemetery Hill. Damn, rest in peace. Heard about it on the OPM Reddit. Apparently, he was friends with Murata. Murata also had a heart issue I read on the comments yeah yeah dude it's it's sad dude you know what I mean like I don't know it's, it's kind of crazy um dude just like heart attack or no no, no not even like 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 oh I got chest pains I'm about to go to Paris boom you know like that's crazy you know what I mean like like, there's, like, he didn't have, like, a history of, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy that that even happened. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. I, I, I'm still kind of, like, reeling from it. You know what I mean? 
but shit, dude, you know? I was like, did have has art not taken enough hits this year? You know what I mean? Like, with AI and everything? I don't know, man. It's crazy, dude. That's the world we live in, dude. Just insanity. Yeah. Anyway, so, enough of that. Let's go back to the... Uh, the image at hand, okay, because we want to celebrate his work, okay, and not, not, and, and not worry too much about what happened, you know, but just to, let's see, love the gritty art, reminds me of Yukito Kishiro, Battle Angel, yeah, <clears throat> that movie was all right, I'll give it like a seven, okay, right you know that's like people were like oh my god it's so good but i'm like i'm like it's a seven okay it could have been better it could have been much better but the the story kind of like went off the rails here and there you know what i mean uh but anyway bunny soldiers whatever you guys seen this image let's just move on oh my god okay like i said um kim jong gi he does not censor himself okay right and he will draw some of the craziest shit, okay? And, you know, crazy is what we're seeing, okay? Jesus Christ. And you know what, dude? All I gotta say is that's a good drawing, okay? That's a good drawing. You can't, you can't fight me on that one, okay? Wow. All right. <laughs> Let's just move on, dude. Let's just move on, okay? Hopefully YouTube won't see it, dude. Or won't... The, the AI is like, what is that, you know? Okay, so we have a bunch of guys in a raceway, and wow, again, you're just seeing this great detail in his work, dude. Just like, wow. Look at, oh, he's got a little shell thing right there. That's cool, right? Little shell company. And I'm sure he, you know, maybe he referenced it, or he, like, saw it, and, like, kind of, like, did like a little member a little bit of a memorization of what how it how it's structured you know what i mean or he's drawn it like a billion times you know what i mean right okay hold on i got a comment probably the best anime hollywood adaptation for what it's worth manga artists like miura were calling kishiro kishiro's i'm so bad with japanese names uh, I lead it the Pride of Japan. Okay, I didn't. The movie was that crazy. Like, whoa, dude! You know, it's not like uh, like like Akira, you know, right? But you know, it was a good anime adaptation. Okay, like, so it, it you know, it did it did its job. Okay, but like for me, as like just like as a film, you know, I'm like I'm like I'm like ah, I want it to be better. I want it to be better. Okay, right? Like some things, I'm like. I'm like, ah, they should have they should have changed that a little bit, you know what I mean? I don't know. Okay, just that I'm just being honest, dude. Okay. But I, I understand its importance, okay, to anime as a whole. Um Oh my god, dude. Is that the new thing, dude? Is that gonna be like like you know how Marvel is right now? It's like instead of instead of Marvel, it's all anime adaptations, okay, except like to like now Hollywood level. You know, it's like oh my fuck oh dude. No, no. That that would be horrible. Okay, that would not be cool. Hollywood ruins everything, dude, and I don't want I don't want it to ruin anime. Okay. Anyway, so. Um, I guess he has this Dunkin' Donuts like ad or some shit. You know, as a drawing. Either way, it's cool. I don't know if it's actually been used. Probably right. Yeah. Otherwise, why why make it? You know what I mean? Or yeah, it has to be right. Like that's like the, that's the straight up brand. Japanese like Hollywood way more than Americans. I despise Hollywood, by the way. Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah. I mean, current Hollywood is horrible. You know what I mean? I think everyone knows. Okay. I'm just like, like I just want good movies. Like I don't care about all the bullshit left or right or. Or what you know what I mean? Like like I'm just like just fucking make make something good. Like you know what I mean? Like that's 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 the whole fight, dude. The whole fight is like, hey, just give me something good that I like, you know? And it's like, like no dude, just 
eat this bad thing and pretend it's good. And I'm like, no, I, like, I just want a good thing, dude. You know? I'm like, I don't know. Is that like, like, I think we could all agree with just like, hey, make it good. I just want a good thing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, like, forget everything else. Just make it good. You know what I mean? Like, it could be whatever flavor, whatever you want to do. Okay? Just make it good, dude. Okay? I don't know. <sighs> anyway, so. Um, oh, is that the... Dude, I think that is the spacesuit from uh, Alien. Yeah, I could kind of see the silhouette of the... Of, like, the diver thing right there. Like, I don't know. It's some kind of spacesuit, either way. Because that's how spacesuits are assembled. You have to go, you have to go in, like, partially and then put the rest on. That's cool, though. I like how, like, these guys are kind of sketchy. I wish he did, I wish he did the actual, like, helmet and shit, though. That's a cool sketch. It's a nice one. Look at that, dude. See, isn't it, isn't it like just the, the right amount of chibi? Any bigger, and it would be like, um, it would be too comical, right? But like, it's it's just the right size where like you're like, oh shit, dude, there's still like the impact of it. You know what I mean? Okay. Oop. Okay. We have guy. Uh, with pistol up the nose, okay, not the best, not the best spot, okay, because it probably won't kill you, it'll just be extremely discomforting, you know. We have, uh, rabbit guy, we have Batman, okay, Batman, he's kind of like, I don't know, he looks very like, like wispy, I don't know, like he's like, it's been a long day, you know what I mean, and a bicycle, okay. Oh, here we have like a real dive suit. Okay, that's pretty cool. See, this looks like, um... Like, um... Like 20,000 leagues under the sea or some shit, you know what I mean? That's cool. Got a woman right there, you know, get a little bit of... A little bit of sexy, you know, just a tiny bit. Okay. Honestly, love his art, though. He is just from the generation of artists who influenced me. Sort of a mechanical detail. Yeah? Yeah, dude. Like, you know, I'm not a line artist, okay? But I respect the hell out of, out of like, crazy line work like this, you know? Um, it's, like, like, I get how they do it, and I've done line work like that, you know? But it's, like, it's just... It's just not natural to me. It's just not like what my natural inclination is. You know what I mean? Because I'm not a line person, but I respect the hell out of um, beautiful line work, dude. You know what I mean? And then like like inventive work. You know what I mean? So it's just it's not just like you know like oh it's just elegant, but it's like it's very creative as well. Like what we see right here, we got this boar guy right here, and like uh, I guess like a little little rabbit guy, okay, with the and they're, they're, I guess they're from the same school or something. Yeah. But see, there's like, there's a uniqueness to it. You know what I mean? I love that. <clears throat> we have a uh, Sharkman. Okay. Sh uh, Co Coach Shark, you know? <coughs> okay. We got Coach Shark right here. And we have a smiley Batman, okay, like very, uh, like uh, maybe Joker, I don't know, wearing his cowl. Oh, dude. Best art comes from Mad Men. It's true. It's true. But, like, dude, the madness is like. You can't deny it, you know what I mean? When, like. Like, you don't have to be mad yourself, but you have. Your art should have a little bit of that divine madness, you know, right? Like, when you're struck with divinity, they're, they're, like, the result is, mad, is like, there's a slight madness, you know? But, um, I don't know if, if Kim Jong-gi himself was, a, was like, a madman, you know? Like, he seemed pretty, like, you know what I mean? You know? But his art was, like, you know what I mean? Like, 
damn, dude. Okay, that's that's what's that's what's underneath the hood, dude. You know what I mean, yeah. Someone used to make like a shark verse, dude. You know, I I I, I would love that. Okay, so we have um some violin humans, and so we got violin ping violin penguin, a little violin penguin, and a smaller penguin next to him. Beautiful. With the violin. That's funny, dude. Dude, this guy likes boars. And you know what, dude? I'm all about it, dude. Okay? Because I'm a pig, dude. Okay? Zodiac, I'm a pig, dude. You know what I mean? Let's see. It comes from somewhere. Yeah, dude. It comes from the from the divine, dude. Okay? It comes from the, the other side, dude. The other side. You know? It comes from... Um... The, the the divine realm okay and all, all the best artists pull from the divine realm okay that's just the, that's just the way it is dude that's the mechanics of these things yeah look at these board guys dude I love board guys dude oh my goodness okay so let's see let's let's just address this one okay so we got a man, and he's drawn le woman, okay, and she is the the nu, okay, right, and she's very beau, okay, right. It's a wonderful drawing, dude. Okay, wow, he's just out, you know, he's just he's just out there with his cock, just like he's like, you see how he's not erect, okay? That's because he's focused, okay, right? Like, do people like people are always like, dude, artists. Like, they just want to draw naked people, you know? And it's like, yes, that's true. But, like, when you're drawing a naked person, you're not... You're, you're just, like, trying to make a good drawing. You know what I mean? Like, there's no there's no horny in it, okay? You know, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit, okay? But at the end of the day, dude, like, you're just focused, dude. You're not, you're not like, like, oh, dude, like, I got a nut. You know what I mean? Right? Like, you're, they're not focused on that. They're like, they're like, how do I get that the, the shape of that foot right? Like, that's annoying, dude. You know what I mean? Right? Anyway. Yeah, and we got boat people over here. I like this, dude. It's very, very Asian. You know what I mean? Right? There's something, like, again, there's there's something... Um, oh, my God. No. Oh, my goodness, dude. We're just... Okay, we're just going deep in there, dude. Okay? Um, like he is, dude. He's going deep. Okay? Um, this looks like a very, like, run-down, like, part town. You know what I mean? Like... So there's, like, this, like, like, uh like western grit to it you know what I mean yeah say what you want dude it's a highly technical and very good drawing you know what I mean like say what you want dude okay damn dude but it's filthy okay it's filthy and that's part of it you know what I mean that's part of the theme okay Street sharks. I sh I should look that up. Yeah, I'll look that up later. I want I want to see shark people hanging out. You know what I mean? Sharking it up. You know what I mean? Dystopian vibes with a jerry can. Yeah. I just think it's like a gas station. Like you know what I mean? It's like it's like. Like American, like we out here, you know, with a trucker, you know, if I meet a woman, you know, it's, you know, it's nasty, right? Nasty business. He's like, I got, I got meth. You want it? She's like, okay. You know, it's like, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. <laughs> okay, so we have more, uh, more Nike right here. Very nice, dude. Like, this drawing is beautiful. That is gorgeous. I love the way he did the shadow. It's just so subtle, you know? That's beautiful. That's a really nice drawing. I wish I could zoom in. This program sucks, dude. I hate the I hate the fact that this this my file is a PDF, so it's like you can't really you can't really zoom in. It's 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 ugh, it's fucking annoying. I mean you can, it's just I need the right program, but the road it's like Adobe's annoying, you know what I mean? And there's a blood sacrifice right here. Okay, you see that? She cut the head off the pig, and now she's drinking the blood from the from the neck hole, right? 
See how these things, through the mind of Kim Jong Gi, find some way to be on the same page. You know what I mean? Right? It's it's that's that is the mind of the artist, dude. Okay. All right. He really likes like dentistry stuff. I don't know why, dude. But maybe it's like because you're being operated on. You know what I mean? And you're like awake. You're like, oh, yeah. It's a cool drawing though. Oh, we got more. Okay. I thought I saw blood. Okay. Instead, I saw ass. Damn, dude. I'm telling you, dude. Okay. This is the truth, dude. Okay. All artists are perverts. Okay. If you draw, you're a fucking pervert. Okay. Right? I have a bigger accusation that everyone is perverted. Okay. But especially artists. Okay. No one can deny that. All right. And if you deny that, dude, you're a liar. All right. Every artist deep down is a pervert. It's just how, how much you're willing to show. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Ooh, we got a second person. Sleepy Mushroom. Okay, cool. We got two people in the chat. How's it going, dude? Let's, uh, let's move on. Okay. So we have, uh, policeman. See, I'm telling you, dude, Normally, I don't like chibi, dude, but this is just the right amount of chibi right here. You know what I mean? Like, the big head, the big head doesn't feel too big head. You know what I mean? It's just it's just the right amount. Um, this is cool. I don't know if this is, is the same guy. Yeah, I think so. Hell, even Tezuka drew furries. Tezuka? What, what, Tezuka who? I don't, I don't know that artist. Or maybe I do, but I, I don't I don't remember the name. Uh, let's see. So we got like a swamp man right here, and we got a pig soldier, dude. I like that. I like that, dude. Super deformed. Yeah. Oh no no there we go. Okay. So we have. Um, Venom? Yeah, yeah, right. Venom, right. At first, I thought it was. I thought I was like, I was like, oh yeah, it's Venom. But like looking closely at him, like he has like eyelids and shit. So I'm like, maybe not Venom. He definitely looks like him. Yeah. And then some random portions. Oh, no, no. Here we go. Look at that. And see, dude. Another thing that is like great about his work is that there is such a diversity of like style and like like what he's willing to draw right like not only is he do willing to do like crazy realistic stuff like you know very like macabre stuff okay um you know like he's able to do cartoonish as well right he's able to um like you know like oh i want to do something a little bit more cartoon you know what i mean right so i'm going to switch up my style right so I feel like every artist should try to strive to do that, okay? Because it changes, it makes you look at art differently, and like you learning from, from both sides of the of the coin, you know what I mean? It's just so important, dude. And like it makes you, um, when I say coin, I mean like the the, the side of like realism versus like um, abstraction, you know what I mean? Or or like or stylization, you know what I mean? Like those two realms, like there's. There's a beautiful, like, you could change it however you want, but there's a beautiful mix somewhere in between, you know what I mean? And some people stay on one side, and some people stay on the other, right? And I think that the best one, best artists pull and find a happy middle ground, okay? Either, you know, like, sometimes leaning this way, sometimes leaning that way, right? But it's up to you, okay? Um, yeah, so we got, like, a little, little cat. Um, is that a lawnmower? Yeah, just do a little lawnmower, right? And we got... Um, is that a bear? I think that's a bear, right? A bear's got like little, it's got a little Tonto, not Tonto, a Taito, I don't know. What's it, whatever the small blade is. Here you go, we got Ninja Fox Woman, right? Oh, dude, that's a, that's a cute design. Look at that samurai guy. He, I love, I love how he has all that armor and then he's just fucking chest out, you know what I mean? Ready to get stabbed. It's like, the, the thing that you would want to get 
protected, you know what I mean? Let's see. Dude, I love this, like, tiger um, samurai guy, dude. You know? Like, fucking aristocrat samurai, you know what I mean? That's cool. And then we have this guy who's, like, a... I guess like a, maybe like a traveling barber or something, you know what I mean? Because he's got the big scissors. We got the old master, right? We have the the Ronin, the renegade, you know, who's 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 strong as well. Oh, and there is uh, Kim Jong Gi himself, dude. There is the man. Okay, look at him. Look at that smile, dude. Okay, and again, you see that nice chibi form okay and you know like in my eyes i'm like hey dude isn't that how you want to remember him you know what i mean like just just remember him like you know just smiling dude just say hey dude you know i i was a successful artist you know i lived a good life right you know i made i made a good drawing or two you know what i mean so I'm trying to like you know what i mean like now be able to look at his life and and like you know enjoy it for what it was you know what i mean right so just focusing on the the, the horrible shit you know what i mean let's see hold on i got a comment he made doro dororo Astro Boy and Kimba, the White Lion, to name a few. Oh yes, yes, I know that guy. I I now I remember. Yeah. Uh, speaking of furries, dude. Okay, we got a kitty cat. Hey, he's he's a uh, got a little fish right here. I think this is a watercolor painting. It's awesome, dude. I like that he was good with color too, cause like. You know, like, a lot of ink artists, like, they're really afraid of color. So, seeing someone who is, like, you know, like, not really good with ink, but also really good with color and, like, render and shit, like, you know, I respect it. Yeah, that's a funny image. Oh, hey, oh, oh, there we go. Um, so we just have a big page of just random drawings, right? That's cool. See, I can never do this, like, as an artist, right? I'm like, I am not a sketchbook kind of guy. You know what I mean? It's just, I, I just don't, like, you know, it's just, it, it's not the way I do things. You know what I mean? But, like, I respect the hell out of sketchbook artists. You know what I mean? Sorry, I was getting a drink. <clears throat> oh. I hate how sensitive this thing is. Okay. So yeah, ooh, we got like a head guy, right? I like that. Here's him without the hair, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so we got another person, Kinsey Sakura. Uh, heart, turtle heart for Kim Jung Gi. Yes. I spilled ketchup on my baseball bat. <laughs> what for this guy, dude? Hold on. Yeah, dude. That's a spill, dude. Okay. That's funny. Yeah, sorry guys, there's a, there's a delay, dude. There's there is a definitely delay in the stream, so you know, sometimes I'll be ahead of you guys, so it's it's just unfortunate. You know, it's just it's it's the cost of streaming. Um I wish there was a way to be like no delay, you know, or like try to be like like one second delay so it's like nothing, you know, but unfortunately it doesn't work like that. Is that, is that Pooh Bear? No. He's got like rabbit ears. This guy's weird. I like him though. Yeah. Look at him. He's like, ah. he's like, my name's Bumblebee. So what? You know. My real name's Kyle. <laughs> Carl Weezer. <laughs> What the hell's going on? There's like a stamp right here, you know? Again, just like, you know, the madness, okay? 
right? Look at it. Look, there's like, like this, like really detailed, like, uh, you know. And then like there's like, uh, uh, you know. And I'm like, what the hell? And then there's like a fucking eye with a finger coming out and shit, dude. You know, it's. This is not planned. It's just a bunch of drawings that are like, you know, I'm just gonna put this here. I'll put this here and see how it goes. You know what I mean? It's just craziness. Um, look at that. What is that, dude? I like that he's willing to do like weird drawings. You know what I mean? Like, like we need more weird drawings. Like drawings that are like, like, ooh, ooh. you know, like, like this guy. See this tiger? He's very like, you. You know, he's like slightly off. I like that. Yeah, and we have this this hmm, guy. It's a little sad, you know. Um, I think this is uh, Iron Man. Right here. Um, I guess he was just practicing, like doing like crazy armors and shit. And he and he did do a lot of Iron Man like covers, I think, I believe. Yeah. Really great stuff. Up oh, here he is with a with a tesseract. You know he's he he still has his like legs on. That's so cool, dude. You see his uh, iron the iron monger armor, dude. That's cool. Yeah, all this great detail, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude! Shout out to uh, Ryan Berry. You know, uh, a a friend of mine, friend to the channel, right? And uh, definitely pulled. From you know, definitely got some inspiration from Kim Jong Gi, and is a uh, like you know he takes his tech stuff like to the next level, dude. You know what I mean, right? So if you haven't seen his work, you know definitely go check it out, man. You know what I mean? His stuff is great. <laughs> That's so like Asian grandma. You know what I mean? I love how it's like it's just like it's it's not like a pose or anything. It's just like. Like, like you're just walking past someone on the street, and then like she sees like some dog poop or something, and she's like, <gasps> "Dude, Ryan Barry, dude, wow, wow, speak of the fucking devil, dude. That's crazy, dude. Wow, what up, Ryan, dude? What are you doing? What are you doing on the stream, dude? Okay, I don't know we had a celebrity on the goddamn stream, dude. Jesus, wow, dude." That's funny. But yeah, like I was saying, it's like you see this woman and you're just like walking past her on the street and then like she's like, Ugh, and you're like, what, what? And you like turn around and you see like this big pile of dog poop or something, you know, and you're like, oh, you know, but it's it's just like, it's, it's there's like a, there's like a mundane part of it. You know what I mean? Dude, that's fucking, fucking Ryan, dude. Talk about you, dude, and you just show up like that. Dude, that's crazy. Were you here this entire time? <laughs> Were you here this entire time, dude? That's crazy, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Wow, look at that little short guy, dude. I love that. Is that? I feel like this reminds me of some actor. Is that Bruce Lee? No, his face isn't like that. But yeah, again, he just d loves to do these strange exaggerations, dude. And it's fucking is badass, dude. Dude, what is that? I literally just showed up, dude. That's fucking funny, dude. That's hilarious, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, that's fucking funny. I can't, I can't believe that you, like, like I literally just started talking about you. I just like, I'm like, hey, dude, shout out to that guy, dude. And then boom, there he is, dude. <laughs> I'm like, I, I call to the heavens. I summon Ryan Berry, dude. Damn. I, I, I summon Ryan, dude, with, with my call, dude. Using using Kim Jong Gi's work as like my 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 uh, my layout, dude. You know, damn, dude. His his drawings are like my my alchemy signs, like. Damn. So yeah, we have some some whams right here, you know, um, you know, pretty tame compared to the shit we saw earlier. You know what I mean? Like, like this is nothing, dude. We we've already seen like some some dirty ass shit. So this is nothing, dude. This is whatever. Okay, we're just moving on. Okay. Um. Wow. 
again, we see his great variety of, of styles, man. You know? It's just, like, so cool. Look at all these heads, dude. I like that collage. That's really, really cool. And you can see, like, the negative space kind of forms, like, this nose. You know what I mean? With the, For the eye. That's really cool. Let's see. Kim jong Gi brings people together, man. And I'm like, yeah, dude. You know? It's so sad, dude. You know? Oh, my God. I think all artists are just like, yeah, man, yo. He sparked me, dude. You know, we, we're all just kind of coming together now. You know what I mean? That's, that's crazy, dude. Dude, look at this. Again, variety of styles, dude. There's like 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 ten different styles going on for each face. You know what I mean? Like like oh my god, dude. That's so cool. Look at this guy, dude. This guy's jacked. And he's like, but he has like a like kind of like a weird face. So you're like, you're like ew, ew, you know, like like he's kind of like there's something weird about him, like the hair thing, you know. But he's kind of like beautiful at the same time. Right, as a drawing, I guess. Dude, look at that head. I, that I just jumped straight to this, like. Um, you know what this reminds me of? Um, there's um. You know Mike Ehrmantraut from Breaking Bad. You know the, like there's a meme like Walter. You know, like it reminds me of the Walter meme. You know. That's funny. Wow. Like, I feel like you see these like sh like these sheets right here. I feel like maybe he was just like at like um, like a meeting or something or like an event, and he's just like kind of bored, you know. And he's just like, I'm just gonna fucking draw, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna fucking sketch some shit out, dude. You know what I mean? Like, fuck, fuck this boring ass shit. I gotta draw, dude. You know? And I'm like, that's what the artists do. You know what I mean? That's fucking cool. See. Again, classic Kim Jong Gi. You know what I mean. Um, I love his. I love that he's like really focused on like multi figure, right? Dude, I've just realized recently the power of multi figure. You know, I mean, like I knew, but like you know, like when you do it yourself, right? It's like it's like whoa! It like really adds like a scale to your work. You know what I mean? Like it, it makes it it makes it a bigger thing. You know what I mean? Like it makes it makes it more like an event. You know what I mean? Right? Wow. Serial doodler, yep, I I agree, dude. And you know, like I said, that's not part of me, but like you know, those the the line artists, dude, they just doodle all day, dude. You know, like they they just can't help it, dude. And I'm like, you know, I'm kind of jealous. You know what I mean? Um, because like you know, I would have like so many like a million drawings, but you know, whatever. You know, that's what happens, right? Different art for different people, dude. Yeah, cool drawing though. Uh, let's see. We got a dive guy, right? And again, see that, like, this super, like, realistic drawing, right? Or, like, like in the, in the mo in a more realistic vein, right? And, you know, he could just jump between styles, man. You know? Look at that. That's so cool. Is this... Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, this is one, one large image, right? So... You got stuff in the foreground to really focus on, and then you could, you know, look towards the background and see that there's even more going on. Really helps add a sense of scale to your work, right? So, like, you know, I was talking to this to my friend, right? Recently, it's like when you when you have something, right? You want to put, like, if you have multiple of, of, of a thing, right? You want to put one that's close, um, one that you could like identify really well, right? And then you have other ones that are um, smaller and maybe like getting smaller and smaller, right? So you can see right here that you know this boat is like slightly, slightly smaller. And then you know as you go back and back and back, and you, it adds again this sense of scale and distance to the piece, so that you know how far things actually are, right? And um, yeah, it's just a cool thing. It's just a cool thing to add. You know what I mean? And and it it, it creates like a nice harmony to your work. Let's see. Okay, so we see um, this dive crew going right here. Um, this guy's just getting blinded. He's just like, "Hey, dude, Frank, stop, stop it!" You know, he's like, he's like, and Frank's like, "Ew, I got you." It's like, oh, stop it, dude. You know, 
Like, I'm blinding you, dude. You know? This deep under the sea, and you're still blinded by the light, dude. There's nothing but darkness down here. Yeah, that's funny. Wow, look at that, dude. I think this is, yeah, this is like a big wreckage. I'm trying to see. I can see. I can, I can identify the, like, the, the top of the boat right here. That's cool. So much detail. What's with this circle thing? That's that's kind of like yeah, it's interesting. You don't really see that used in in <clears throat> compositions, you know, just like a random like oh, you know circle with like complementary color. You know what I mean? That's kind of cool. Wow. Dude, again. This is like I'm the main character, you know. It looks like we have like a, like a like a lock on thing on him, like a HUD. You know what I mean? That's interesting. It looks like he just like put like a coffee cup, and he's like, oh oh shit, you know, like. I mean, he's like, oh you know, it kind of looks cool, you know. Maybe I'll add it to my sketchbook. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude, that's cool, dude. We got like a nice story, going on right here. What even? Oh, no, 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 okay, backwards, backwards. No, 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 no. What is going on? Did I skip a draw? Oh, I think something went wrong. Okay. And then they're pulling him up, right? Um, which you shouldn't do too fast, because then you'll bl you'll blow up your your lungs. Ryan Berry said, I've always wondered if these were, like, thumbnails for a commercial or something, and he's just making sure we know how the main character was or something, or who the who the main character was. Um, maybe, you know, this could be, I don't, they don't feel like storyboards, though, you know what I mean? Like, maybe it's for, like, a magazine illustration, you know, or like a, like a, like, like a collaborative thing, you know what I mean? Like an ad for the, okay, Ryan's like like an ad for military or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. It could be. You know what? It could be like for like the uh, Korean military or something. You know, like like how to pull a guy, how to save a guy. Like maybe like maybe an instruction manual. That could be cool, right? But yeah, maybe he's like you know just like a story concept he was working with. But either way, it's a it's a cool thing, right? Oh, and he's part of the, the military thing. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> like I said, maybe it was for a... Maybe it was for a uh, comic. You know what I mean? Let's see. Oh, that coffee bit killed me. Oh, yeah, dude. Doesn't it look like, like a coffee ring, you know? And, like, this one's like a tiny cup, like a little... Eep, you know, like a little, little tiny cup, like a Dixie cup. Makes me wish I could read the writing. Yeah. That's true. Maybe, yeah, maybe maybe the, the writing says something about what's happening, but I have no idea. Yeah, Coast Guard or something. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Like, you see this right here? This is, like, very, like, patriotic. You know, like, like yeah, they're saviors, dude. You know? Right? This could be, this could be for, like, an ad. You know what I mean? Like, like, um, like a magazine spot or some shit. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Give me a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some water. This is a stream, so I, I'm allowed to get water. I got my water. Yeah, this has to be some kind of like, like, patriotic, you know, like, like, hey, join the, 
the Korean military, you know what I mean, right? Which, I guess, it, like, the, it's, it's mandatory for everyone to be in the military, so. Hmm. Maybe it's just straight up, like, propaganda art, dude. You know what I mean? Um, no, I'm just, I'm just joking, dude. It's probably just for, like, like I said, like an ad for, for the military. Let's see. Again, like, you know, I like his chibis, dude. You know, I like the way he does his little chibi guys. There is something to the big head. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I like it. I like it. Like... Uh, most of the time, I don't like big head shit, but, you know, this is the right amount of big head. And you get this this great level of detail with his uh, military drawings, dude. That's so cool. You know, now that I think about it, he probably served in the military because it's a requirement for everyone in in, in South Korea, right? Oh, yeah, oh. So, um, yeah, so maybe that's where he got some of, like, hands-on experience with these things and like you know gain a fascination for military stuff right so we have this monk he's got a see one eye's closed and the other the other eye it sees beyond dude okay right like he he can't see vision through that eye dude but he could see beyond dude. he could see into the divine okay and it guides him dude okay he only sees echoes of reality, dude. But in, in his in his in his real eye, dude, he could see into the veil of God, dude. Okay, right? That'd be fuck. That's fucking. That's fucking cool, dude. Oh, hold on, I got a comment. Yep, I remember Korean zombie had to do it like three years in the military, right in the prime of his MMA career. Shame. Korean zombie. Okay, so it's like that's like his uh his MMA name. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, dude, like, you know, it's just it's just part of like what it's what what's be meant to be Korean, you know what I mean? The legend is he hit his head during the military and that's how he got his powers. But I think it's made up. Yeah. No, dude. His skill, dude, that's earned. You know what I mean? Like, like you just gotta be good at drawing, dude. You just gotta get better, okay? Like, like it's possible to get to his skill level. You know what I mean? It's just, like, can you do it? You know what I mean? Like, you can't. Like, hitting your head won't do that. You know what I mean? Hitting your head. If anything, hitting your head will prevent you from drawing well because then, like, maybe you have like issues. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, like, um, yeah, like, artist, dude. We're born this way, okay? Right? We're already born a little, a little, like a little mad, you know? A little bit of madness in there, you know what I mean? Oh, we got a little young monk, okay? So you got the old man, the young, young guy, dude. That's cool. We have a random buff guy, right? See, I see this, and then I think of, um, I think, this, I think of, uh, what's it called? Dahmer, right? You know, the new show, right? Um, honestly, I'm like, I'm like, whatever about it, like, like, I'm not a huge, like, serial killer guy, right, but, like, I don't know, like, it just didn't, it just didn't pull me, like, every, like, everyone's like, oh my god, it's so good, you know, but I'm like, I'm like, nah, it's like, like, it just didn't grab me, you know what I mean, right, maybe I could watch more, but I'm like, I don't know, like, it just, it didn't get me, you know what I mean, I saw it, I'm like, oh, what was? I'm like, and I'm like, nah, it's okay, I'm like, I'm not really interested in that, like, subject matter, you know what I mean, yeah. We got a uh, goat uh, rifleman right here. That's cool. Right? Look at that dog. That dog looks so, like, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. See, I love, I lo like, you know, when you're good, you, you, like, I feel like people are more forgiving of your bad drawings. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, eh, you know, it's just, it's just, you poop out something bad every every once in a while, dude. You know, not big into serial killers, are you? Sounds like you got something to hide. I'm like, hey, dude, listen. Okay. All I gotta say is, dude. Something a serial killer would say. It's like, listen, dude. All I gotta say is, uh, Dahmer. 
he was a uh, what do you call it amateur okay amateur you can't let the smell go to to the place dude where everyone can smell it dude that's stupid okay that's that, that's amateur hour okay I, I you know it's funny I actually watched Hannibal right and I really like that um, see like I I could get into it if it's like good you know what I mean right or like like I like the characters you know what I mean like I don't know whatever Hannibal was a much better show honestly right there's that's there's a reason why it went on for like three seasons you know what I mean yeah yeah, so I guess I do kind of like serial killer shit, you know what I mean? So, whatever, you know? Either way. <laughs> Rookie, yeah. Dude, come on, dude. Like, anyone who watches Dahmer is gonna be like, he's just kind of a weirdo, you know what I mean? And like, like, I don't know, I don't know, like, he doesn't deserve the popularity, you know what I mean? Right? He doesn't deserve the popularity, dude. See, we got more military animal people. Okay, we got like a hyena guy right here. He's like, yeah, look at that, look at that fucking mouth, dude. This guy, his eyes are kind of creepy, dude. There's something, something creepy about him. We got another pig guy. Dude, I love that. You know, dude. Like, I feel like pigs are like really great art material. You know what I mean? Like frogs. Like pigs, you know what I mean? Like certain animals are just fantastic for, for art. You know, horses, horses are great, you know what I mean? There's just certain animals that like, you know, like they, get, they just get drawn more than other animals. Like crabs, crabs are good, you know what I mean? Right, there's something like, I don't know, like there's some, something about certain animals that like really speak to us. Like lions, you know what I mean? Like certain, like there's just certain animals that are like, like these are great for drawings and you, you always see it everywhere, you know what I mean? Yeah, like bunnies, you know, bunnies always, always being drawn. You know what I mean? Let's see. Uh, what is this, dude? <laughs> Looks like someone like photoshopped this on top of like this drawing, you know? But you know that he actually just did that. You know what I mean? That's funny. Um, let's see. Uh. Got more bunny soldiers. Look, look at this guy. Yeah. You know what this guy look you know what this looks like? It looks like the um the surprised Is it a mole? Surprised You know the the uh, you know like you like what like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Ch surprised chipmunk. I can't remember what animal it was exactly. Whatever. Yeah, more military animals, that's cool. Is that a kangaroo? Is that a wallaby? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, this this guy's cool. Falcons, another another animal that's drawn a lot. Awesome, dude. That's bad. I like the little feather touch right here. That's good. Uh, this is a seal. Yeah, yeah. He's got like like little little flippers. You know what I mean? Oh, we got a new person, Disc Breaker. That's old internet memory, yep. Yeah, oh my goodness. Dude, is that fucking... Is that Brett Michaels? Is that Brett... Dude, that looks like Brett Michaels. That has to be Brett Michaels, dude. Did, did he watch fucking... Um, um, Rock of Love, dude? Dude, if you watched Rock of Love, dude, like... Okay, Rock of Love is a VH1, like, reality show where, like, there's, like, there's Brett Michaels and there's a bunch of girls and they compete and they all fight for Brett to, to, to win his affection, okay? And it's really trashy TV. It's really trashy TV, okay? But my friend loves it and he showed it to me and you know what, dude? I get it, okay? That, like, what a show, dude. What a ride, okay? That has that dude. That's 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 Brett Michaels, dude. Okay, either like, even if it isn't him, this image is that show. Okay, this image represents the energy of that show, like that trashy. You know what I mean? And the fucking like this Brett dude. Like, come on, dude. That has to be Brett Michaels, dude. Let's see. So we have. Um, let's see. We got a chess game over here. 
We have uh, Droga Money, right? Uh, we have Woman Who's Naked and Serving. Uh, maybe there's like cartel thing. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, they, they're like weighing out drugs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like a, this is like a gang thing. Okay. All right. That's cool. Yeah. Reminds me of like narcos. You know what I mean? Okay. This red drawing is kind of kind of hard to see. Like this one. These are fine, but this one is kind of hard to see. It's kind of, it's kind of blended into the back. Whatever, who cares? Oh, do we have his famous fucking like, um, mermaid, like sashimi woman, like like sashimi right here, dude? It's like, it's very disturbing. Again, he's like he's willing to draw like those very macabre things. You know what I mean? But um, yeah. Question is, would you try it? You know. I try peace. I try peace, dude. You know what I mean? I'm I'm down, right? I've got to try like all cra all kinds of crazy 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 meats, dude. Let's see. Uh, I got a bounce man. I have a good stream boy and rest in peace, the legend Kim Jong Gi. We'll talk soon. Yeah, yeah, Ryan. I'll, I'll talk to you soon, man. You know, it was nice seeing you. Thanks for dropping by in the stream. Um, I'll catch you on the next one, dude. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe you can, you can catch the rest of the stream later. It'll it'll be up. Uh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, calm down, dude. Calm down, calm down. There you go. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. So we just got this guy sitting here, you know. Yeah, mer <laughs> mermaid sashimi. Yeah, dude. That's crazy. This guy's just pouring something on her, dude. You know what I mean? Cheers, bro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got kind of chibi-ish Iron Man. That's cool. Um, damn. I think we still have, like, a lot more to go. Hold on. Let me see if I can check that. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, we have way more to go. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna speed this up, guys. We're gonna speed this up, okay? Because uh, there's a lot. Ooh, that's kind of that's sexy, dude. I like that. That's a nice drawing, dude. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna speed it up. You know, I, like I'll just I'm not gonna point out. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna look at every single drawing. We're just gonna you know look at drawings that I have interest in, and then just you know kind of move forward. You know how it is, right? I've done this before. So <clears throat> this motorcycle is really nice. I like that. We have a uh, neo-Nazi man, right? And, um, you know, he's like, he's doing his neo-Nazi thing, dude. You know what I mean? Oh, dude, that's so stupid. Oh. Bro. So we have, um, sexy time murder. Okay, sexy time murder. Um, let's see. Is this a book or just a bunch of stuff you collected? This is his twenty. This is twenty. His uh, two thousand eleven, art book. Oh look at that! We got like little cat students. That's cute. I like that. Yeah, this regular right. It's the twenty twenty eleven book. Let's see. The dancing. I don't know why the dancing, but. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my fucking god. Okay, there we go. More Tiger Boy. Okay. Baseball player. Some Rams locking in. Dude, uh, yeah, you know what, dude? He, and he's good with animal anatomy, dude. Which is a skill that um, is unfortunately not seen as much. You know what I mean? Like. Like, people gotta learn, dude. Okay. This one's cool. I like this. Um. This looks like a. Like. Like an art school thing, you know what I mean? Like, you're, you're in art school, there's other people drawing, everybody's drawing. 
You know, almost like a like an animation table right here. You know what I mean? That's cool. Oh, we got this guy sucking his girl tit. Oh my goodness, that's nasty, dude. Again, something very, very, very like gritty about his work. Oh my god. So you gotta have a check. Gonna have to check it out though. I'm sure everyone's doing that right now. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Everyone's just looking through his work right now, you know. And I think, honestly, that's how he would be want to be remembered you know? through his work. Like, I don't know. I think that's how all artists want to be remembered. You know, just like remember my work, dude. You know, like that's I worked so hard on it, dude. You know, that's the thing that I want you guys to think about when you think about me. It's my fucking artwork, dude. Yeah. Got like spaceman right here. That's cool. He's got this wrench. I don't know why he's like wet though. Oh, it's a di it's a diver suit. Okay, that's why. We have a Asian John Deere shotgun man. You know, you've seen this Asian guy. I've s everyone's seen this Asian guy around. You know, he exists. Um, these guys look like characters from uh, B Stars. Yeah. Got back views too. That's cool. Feels like maybe these were used for like some kind of like cover or story. Oh, here, dude, he's here. We go. He's showing the divine process right here. Okay, you're drawing, and your your brain is on fire, um, while your spirit is uplifted, dude. Okay, that's the way it is. And then and then afterwards, your butt hurts because he's you've been sitting around too long. That's that's the that's the basic process right there, dude. <laughs> Again, he's willing to do these silly drawings like, hey, fuck, hey, fuck you. See, that's a New Yorker right there, dude. Okay. That's that's the the typical New Yorker. I guess he's Asian as well. We got N Nikki woman, right? We have um, man with no chin, okay. Dude, I feel bad for people who don't have a fucking jawline, like, at all. Like, it's such a, like, weird look, you know, like, I don't know. Like, to me, it's, like, extremely unappealing, you know, but I'm sure some people don't care, but, like, for me, it's, like, it's, like, oh, that's unfortunate, you know, like, like, if you're just neck, you know what I mean, to, to head, and there's no transition, right, it's, like, it looks... And it doesn't look, and, and it looks weird, you know, like, some people it looks okay, like, but there's some people who are just, like, absolutely no chin, and it's like, it's like, oh, what happened, dude, you know? Yeah. Look at, look at, look at brain, brain person. Huh? Dude, look at his face, dude, it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, I like, <laughs> I like his face, dude. He looks, he looks so, like, content, you know, he's like, he's like, you know. That's funny. Oh, you got butthole pucker, dude. That's funny. Um, okay, bike kids. All right. Look at that guy. Fox lady. Neck to nose, yeah. That guy. This guy's got a little bit of that going on. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Did it happen? Yep. Hold on. Gotta fix it. Ugh. Good thing it saves my progress. Sorry guys, this is this is what happens when we stream. Okay, there we go. Full screen once again. Alright, we're back in action. Look at this guy, dude. Look at these guys. <laughs> I like I like giant nosemen. Yeah. Noses are funny, dude. Let's see. We have some like Buddhist shrine right here. I guess maybe he was like in the corner, like drawing. Ear. Look at this guy. He's very. He's like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Oh my goodness. That is a nice drawing as well. Damn, dude. Dude, he has a he has a book that's just all dirty shit, dude. You know? That's like, you know, some of his great stuff is just is just that, dude. You know? He has an entire art book that's just dirty shit, dude. And I'm like I'm like, see dude, he gets it. I'm like, I'm like, this man, he ain't ashamed. He's like, yeah, you know what, dude? Here's an entire entire catalogue of them, okay? And I'm like, see dude, that's a real artist. You know what I mean? See, he's willing to draw these giant, large cocks, dude. You know? If you, if you ain't willing to do that, dude, can you really call yourself an artist? You know? <laughs> That's fucking funny. So you got a bunch of woman drawings. That's cool, right? This one's cute. I like that. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, there's so much appeal right here, you yeah? know? His drawings are so nice, dude. She's got some random sketches, you know, military man. This guy looks creepy, dude. There's something creepy about him, but also like, like kind of like, hey, you know. But there's like at the same time, like I'm like, like, hey, dude, how's it going? Like, I don't want to be your friend, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like. I'll talk to you, but, like, you kind of freak me out a little bit, you know? You got those Dahmer glasses, you know? Maybe a little, little tight. Like, we got a happy tiger and old man, dude, you know? Dude, tail's old as time, dude, you know what I mean? Like, fucking a tiger and, and their old man, dude, like, it's just the way it is, dude. She looks naughty. She looks like she's been, like she did something. You know, she's like she's like, oh, did it work? Did it work? Yeah. I put that shit in that guy's coffee. Did he drink it? Look at this old guy. <gasps> Honestly, this is like like a Mad TV illustration. You know. <clears throat> yeah. That's an old man right there, dude. We have chest, chest face, okay, and there's like, some explosion, like, there's a jacket, and he's like, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, that's pretty cool, that's pretty badass, not gonna lie, we have a woman putting on her outfit, okay, um, oh, we have a woman who's like, standing on something clear, and we can see, you can see everything from that, like, cool perspective. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe he's just testing out, like, weird perspectives. Let's see. We have a... Uh, fucking dog... Dogman, you know? That's cool. Frogman. We got... We got, we got another uh, fucking Vin Diesel. That's cool. <laughs> hey, look at that chin, dude. Ooh. Um, I know the answer, you know. Fuck it. <laughs> These are all just like, like, he's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a bunch of nerds, you know. <laughs> Ooh, like this style is pretty cool. I like that. That hatching, this this drawing right here, that's really nice. That's funny, dude. Look at that shotgun. I like I like this page right here. This page is nice. We got a uh, kitty cat, you know, little kitty cat. That fade right here, that's pretty cool. Underneath the helmet. Let's see. Okay, we got a car drawing. Pretty cool. Let's see some reflections in there. Look at this guy, he's like, I'm the boss, you know? He's like, this guy's like the manager or something. Look at that, look at that mustache, dude. Very nice. I like this drawing, too. Okay, a bunch of kid drawings, old man. Okay. He's just trying out different um, styles. 
Look at that nose, dude. Look at that schnoz. I like that, dude. This looks like, like, fucking, like, Ben 10, dude. You know? <laughs> I've seemed to forgotten where my pants are. Like, granddad, you know? Like, come on, dude. Bunch of guys, okay. This looks like, like it's from a movie. This is silly. This one's silly. This one's silly too. And then this girl's like looking disgusting. Why would you make such silly drawings? Crab. See? People like crabs, dude. I like crabs. Okay. Not not like not the, the bad crabs, but like crabs. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. You have motorcycles, you know. See, you have one. Okay, close up. You have another one, a little bit farther away, and then you just have like the silhouettes of the others, dude. Boom. Now you got like a million fucking motorcycles. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is a one side man, you know, where like one side is really buff, the other side is just fucking, you know, like a like an onion that's like shoveled up. You know what I mean? He's, he's playing a flute song, and she's like, You looking for a good time, honey? You know, damn, dude. Geishas. Look at that skull tentacleman. You know, that's cool. This kind of looks like fucking Anka from Animal Crossing. A little bit. Tell me it doesn't, dude. You know what I mean? Look at this shit, dude. Look at that guy's back, dude. That's cool. <laughs> this guy's very monkey, you know? This guy this guy has, like, very high monkey levels. He, he, like, the, the banana-colored shirt doesn't help either. This guy is very monkey, too. <laughs> Damn, dude. Damn, monkeys everywhere. I guess we're all monkeys, right? Look at this military man. I like. He looks like the guy from um, from Dead Rising One, the the last guy. Yeah. He reminds me of, of that guy. Yeah, his character, his caricature is great, man. Yeah. Uh, we have him sitting at a, like a lecture or something. He's drawn. So you got a mom and a mom and a kid, you know, a little and daddy's daddy's drawn in the back, you know. That's cute. Come on, dude. That's that's wholesome. See, hey, there's some wholesome here, you know. There's some there's some nice stuff here, you know, amongst the nudity and and death and chibi and weird just weird shit, you know. Like there's some good stuff, dude. You know, come on. There's some wholesome stuff. What is like? I want to know where this series is from. This looks like a like a show or something. Like a like a fucking like nineties, like you know what I mean? Yeah. That's cool. I like the rivalry. I'm like, I want to know who these, who these characters are. You know what I mean? Look at that, look at that fucking... That's totally Kim jong dude. I like, I like the floating hat. Got this woman, she just shot the alligator. Kim jong gi had like a popsicle, and he's just like, Dip! you know, like, perfect. Okay, I guess he drew on top of this, like, newspaper. Got a woman right here. Got a foot. Got some like pinched hand. Okay. This guy looks like from the gorillas. Oh, that's cool. This reminds me of um, what's his fucking name? What's his fucking name? 
Oh my god. He was an illustrator from the fucking early 1900s. Um, fuck, dude. Something Gibson? No. No. You got, like, nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. I'm, I'm like, if you guys can tell me who it is, then I'll be blown away. Um, fuck. I, I had his name. It's gone. It's okay. If you guys remember, you remember. He, he drew this on a fucking sketchboard, you know? Bunch of girls on, on bikes and shit, dude. That's cool. Oh, maybe he was doing it as a demonstration, you know? <laughs> He's, like, showing his students. And here's what it is to draw an orgy. <laughs> you know? Wow, that's funny. Jesus, look how look at look, look at look at this man's face, dude. He's like he's like, like, and you see, that's the genius, dude. It's it's the fuck it's doggy, dude. That's the genius, <laughs> dude. That's fucking funny. Okay, hold on, give me a second. There we go. We have a woman being born from like a, like a Dragon Ball Z pod, you know. We have Mushroom Man, you know. We have woman with with um, inflatable boobs, you know. Oh look, dude, Mushroom Man's getting worse. He's getting he's getting steadily more shroomed out. We have murder, okay. We have seagulls eating a man, okay. We have a uh, fucking like Call of Duty gameplay with Mushroom Man again. I think on a on a chalkboard, on a whiteboard. I wonder if he's just like doing like a lesson. And he's like, I'm just gonna start drawing, dude. Like I don't like I don't even care that you guys are here, dude. I'm gonna just start fucking drawing. Freckle booty. What freckle booty? Where? Oh. Okay, there is there is freckles. I didn't notice that. Oh, we have a dissection with some some humans, you know, tiny humans. We have him. Uh, I'm just drawing random persons sleeping here. Yeah, like yeah, you know, I'm a draw. Dude needs to move around. Got some fungus growing. Yeah, you know what, dude? When you're drawing, sometimes you just gotta let the fungus do its thing. You know what I mean? Look at that. We have a... Uh, I like the chef guy right here. That's a cool... That's a cool drawing, dude. Cool character. We have uh, him, I guess, at the library. And he's like... He's like so what if there's a bunch of sexy ladies here, you know? Damn, dude. Yeah. Oh, it's Kung Fu Panda, dude. That's cool. He's just doing one of those, like, fucking perspective drawings, you know? Let's see. We have guy asking woman for directions or something. Or they're listening to the same music? I don't know. Because, like... No, no, no. It's going to, it's going to this thing. Okay, never mind. Guy playing some driving game. Okay. Oh, dude. It's the guy from fucking... Um... What's it called? Hellboy. Yeah. It's the amphibian guy. Okay. Hold on. I think my cat's here. Give me a second. Ugh, I'm back.
Okay, I'm back. How to deal with my cats, but I return with an apple fritter. Okay, so. Got me a nice apple fritter, too. Okay. So we got naked woman feeding the tigers, you know? Because that's, you know, sometimes that's just the way things work, right? Hmm. I guess he was just at a coffee shop, you know? Oh my god. So we got fucking very macabre, you know? Like, sex, drugs, blah, 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 you know? Like, just nastiness, you know what I mean? Wow. This is. This, I'm just move on, dude. See, I like sexy, but I don't like, I don't like, you know what I mean, like, you know what I mean, I don't like, I don't like all that shit, you know what I mean? Um, we have some, some girls beating up this guy, and they're clearly fucking him up real hard, he's a Yakuza guy, right, so I'm sure she's gonna, they're gonna murder him, you know what I mean? Hmm. More, um, mermaid sashimi, dude, you know? This old man preparing it, he's like, he's like, I've been doing this for 23 years, or, or like, like, no, or like 50 years, you know? Wow. This is a crazy image. But there's something, there's like something beautiful about it, you know what I mean? Hmm. Ew. More, more of that. Dark shit, dude. Woman getting tattooed, you know. So you can see, dude. There's a his drawings, dude. They got like they got this grit to them. You know what I mean? That's cool. It's because like you know, there needs to be artists like that. Does eating a mermaid make you a cannibal? Hmm. I don't know. Oh wait, um, yeah, some user came in. Cool. Hey, what's up, dude? Your 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 um your picture was very similar to somebody else's earlier, so I'm like, I didn't I didn't realize you were somebody else. Let's see. Drugs are way less common in art than sex. All, always, although, always thought that aspect was super sanitized in most art. It is. You know, it is. But, I don't know. I've seen, I've seen, like, you know, drug stuff, you know what I mean? Right? It just depends on the artist. Um, but you, but uh, you just don't see it in most art. You know? You're not gonna see it from, like, the, the Disney artists. You know what I mean? You, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. He said, I get, I, I get we have to worry about the children, but still, I'm like, I'm like, no, fuck the children, dude. It's just like, it's, a, it's whatever you want to draw. You know what I mean? Let's see. Not much. Just finished watching all of Made in Abyss with my classmates. Okay. I'm sorry, dude. That sounds... That sounds uh, depressing. Yeah. I haven't seen that show yet. Um, and honestly, I'm not really like, you know, like... That interested in watching it, you know what I mean? Especially if it has like a super sad ending, and I'm like, I don't, I don't want to get like I don't I don't want my heart broken, you know what I mean? It's like it's like why don't I watch fucking that 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 so, like Night of the Firefly or some shit like that, you know? The the fucking Ghibli movie. Hmm. More military seal guys. Okay. All right, we gotta we gotta move this along, dude. Let's see, I've been I've been streaming for an hour and a half. Let's see. What does YouTube say? Give me a second. Okay, so yeah, one thirty, about one thirty. Okay. Yeah, let's get this moving along. <clears throat> we still have much more to go. All right. Uh, 
let's see. That's pretty cool. Okay. I like, like, overpacked military man. Uh, oh, shit. We got some lesbiano action. Okay. Very nice. Um, you know, I gotta say, like, woman on woman drawings, it, they're very aesthetic. You know what I mean? They're, like, it's, it's a very, like, cool thing to draw. You know what I mean? Oh, we have Iron Man and that, that guy from the second one who nobody remembers as a villain. And I'm like, can you really blame him? You know what I mean? It's like they're... He, he was not exactly memorable. You know what I mean? Let's see. Let's see. It's surprisingly good. The character designs are great, but yeah, I'm not... I, I don't like getting sad stuff. Yep. Pretty sure the author is a hentai artist. Hey, dude. Deep down, we're all hentai artists. Okay. Every artist draws something, dude. You know? It's in the blood. Look at this woman. She's like, like, ew. Ew. I like this guy, though. I like this guy. This woman's like... I like that she's so, like, gross and, like, long torso. You know what I mean? Ooh, we got some boobas. Okay. Some more Nikki female. Feme. Very right, nice. Oh, I like that. Look at that little, little scarf. It's cute, you know? That's cool. Very nice. So we got more more drugs and women, you know, in the back of a taxi and this guy's like, What what are you guys doing back there? What do you guys what are you guys doing back there? And he's like he's like, Hey, I'm snorting, dude, you know. Let's see, we have uh, people working in the farm, okay, in, 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 in juxtaposition to the like, dirty city life, dude. We have the clean um, country life, you know what I mean? More wholesome. Okay, so we have, oh, it's a double image, okay. So we have a woman, she's uh, blow drying after doing, doing a little bit of moita, doing a little bit of killing, you know. She, maybe she's an assassin posing as a, as a hua, right? Um, let's see, so we have horses going up the side of a cliff and shit. Dude, that's crazy. Like, like, if you ever, hold on, let's see. Kind of sad someone already made a Kim jong AI right as he died. That's bullshit, dude. That's horseshit. You can't, like, like... There has to be some form of copyright over a style, you know what I mean? Or, or like, of, like, your, your, of someone using your work as data to, like, create, to recreate something as, as representative as their work. Like, there's something that, like, I don't know, like, you know what I mean? Ha like, it's like how, like, an actor has a likeness and you can't use that, you know what I mean? Like, it's just so, it's so bullshit, like... Fuck AI, I, I hate that. You know, I just, I don't like it. It's just, it's nasty fucking... <sighs> dude. Oh, he's dead, dude. Better make an AI. Like, fuck you guys, dude. Like, fuck the AI people, dude. They're just... See how, like, they have no fucking, like, they have no class. You know what I mean? They're, like, they're willing to do anything and everything, just, like, like oh, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's nothing sacred. Like, the, the, the day he dies, you do that, like, fucking, got no class, man. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ, dude. Like, who oh, he can't sue me now, you know? And it's, like, fuck you. You know what I mean? It's just disgusting. Man, that's kind of cool. Yeah. We got some sexy ladies, and he's like, he's like, he's like, mm. he's like, that's that's where I'm content, dude. Yeah. Draw a little of Agu, and I'm a happy man. Yeah. I'm like, relatable, dude. Okay. Yeah, technology. It's fucking. It's it's the death of us, dude. It's the fucking. It's it was it's the death of humanity, dude. I'm telling you. And everything we hold sacred. 
Uh, we got some booba. You know, so, hey, do you see? Can AI do that? You know, fuck you guys. AI don't got imagination. Okay. Let's see. Some users said. Let's see. Back in the 60s, they had this folk music revival where they modernized old folk songs. People used to say they prostituted the old songs. That's sort of how I feel about the AI art. Yeah, dude. You know? But this is worse. This is worse. At least it was people that made the other thing. You know what I mean? Like, now this is like. We have to, comp we have to like, allow this robot to take our position in society like that's horseshit you know what i mean i don't know let's see ai is the tv dinner to the artist gourmet yeah i don't know you know what that, that's what it is it's like microwavable food you know what i mean it's like it's like oh dude this is the same as a filet mignon dude and it's like it's prepackaged food dude it's not the same as like making it you know what i mean it's like, oh, I stick it in my oven, and then I, or I stick it in my microwave, and I have the same thing. And it's like, it's not the fucking same, dude. It's not. It's just, it, it just isn't, dude. Okay, sexy images. You know, we got women's, different women's. Okay, whatever. Just a sketch. Ooh, boobs. Yeah. I, I like, I like this kind of style. This looks very, like... Like, adult comic, you know, but it's, like, very, like, real and, like, heavy, you know what I mean? So it's, like, you know, it's, like, kind it's, like, you know what I mean? It's, like, it's not that sexy, but there's, like, a, there's, like, a realness to it, you know what I mean? Okay, we got this comic, we got this man, he's, like, Ugh. gotta drink me a beer. Standing up, grabbing a rifle, I guess he's, he's, he's getting ready, dude. Let's see. Okay, Cemetery Hill said, My dad used to get so mad at covers of big songs, like would rant about how people can't be creative anymore. Yeah. I mean, that's okay. Like, like a cover... Like, see, the thing is, it's like that's made by another person. You know what I mean? It's not a fucking AI, dude. You know what I mean? Like, ugh, that's... I don't know. I don't know. At the moment, it seems like AI just photo bashes actual art, though. We need a class action lawsuit or something against these AI companies. Yeah, dude, I agree. I, th I think the entire artist industry ha has, like, for its best interest, should, like, you know, make some kind of, like... There needs to be law in place for this. There's, like, an entire industry threatened by, like, technology. It's, like, it's, like... Like... Like, and, it, and like unlike replacing, like, like, truckers or something... Like, there's, like, there's no IP involved. There's no, like, copyright of, like, their work. You know what I mean? And, like, the AI is just taking whatever work exists on the internet. And some of that is, like, like oh, you're technically kind of, like, you know what I mean? Taking taking the art from the artist to to use in your program. Like, it's, I don't know. It's, it's, it should be illegal. There's something, there's something legally wrong about that. You know what I mean? Like, but technology is evolving faster than the law. And, like, you know what I mean? It'll take years to resolve this shit. It's so stupid. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I don't want to talk about AI, man. I just want to talk about like, you know what I mean? Like, I want to, I want to enjoy Kim Jong Gi's work. You know what I mean? Like, he passed. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's already bad enough. Let's just look at his work, man. Let's just enjoy looking at, you know, the great artist that he was, and like, you know, like he. It's just so sad, dude. You know what I mean? Artists are way too individualistic to work together against something like this. IMO, no, not necessarily for 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 a class action lawsuit. You only really need like like one person, and then like you know like if you think like they could just do a thing where like because they have the class representative right, and then they have which is like the person who's like like oh you know I want the justification, and then they can include other artists and like like as an open thing you know, like hey if you were affected by this. You get a cut or something for your ex for expenses and shit. You know what I mean? But yeah, either way, it's like you know th there there are things that we could do. You know, it, it only requires one person to do it and to like open the class action. You know what I mean? So like either way, it's just 
I think I think things are being done already. I think I'm sure there's artists already who are who've had their work taken and like there's there's steps being taken. Like we don't need to band together, like legally to do this. You know what I mean? If anything, we just need one person that that has like enough pull to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, we got some buff Tigerman. Okay, all right. Let's see. Problem is though, the only people with influence to do that are the companies. They want the AIs to cut down on costs. Yeah. I don't know. I, in my eyes, I'm like, if you can afford artists, you'll have them. If you can't, you know, this is it's only for like smaller companies. You know what I mean, who can't afford artists, right? Because if you could afford artists, you just fucking do that, right? Because like, you get the exact thing you want, right? Instead of doing like roll dice roll, you know what I mean? Oh, that's cool. We have this. We have the the tiger guy, and he's like, he, he, can assume, he can assume the the true tiger form. That's cool. There you go. I like this little animal universe he's making. Like, I wonder what this is. What this is for? It's cool. Yeah, I like I like all these like office workers. Like this owl guy. That's cool. Uh, hold on, it crapped out on me again. Hold on, I got to refresh. <coughs> Sorry, I spilled a little bit of water myself. Alright. <coughs> nope, nope, nope. By the way, have you guys seen that new Trigger anime? Yeah, I saw I saw Edge Runners. I thought it was really good. I think they did a really good job. Um, it's blowing up, so and I and I and I completely agree. You know, I'm like on why it's blowing up, and I love the fact that everyone loves Rebecca. You know what I mean? And like the fact that like like C Project Red was like, no dude, she's a lolly. Why take him out? And I'm like, art like she's not even like a lolly dude. You know what I mean? She's just short, right? And I don't know. I'm just glad that that show is blowing up and that Rebecca is like a huge re part of the reason why that show is blowing up. So, that's nice. I mean, I think Trigger definitely got a, a huge win out of this one. Yeah. Okay, we just got some baseball guys, you know. So, you got this coolest perspective drawing. I guess this woman's getting kidnapped, which is, you know, horrific, right? Got this. Oh, did I skip? No, okay. Got this fox guy. Yeah, see, a lot of these are just, you know, just sketches. You know what I mean? Oh, shit, dude. Damn, dude. He's like, he's like, you want to give my titty a little suckle? He's like, mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. Actually, I feel like we are on the verge of going back to self-publishing, like music did. Big business, big business is too toxic. Yeah, that's everyone's going indie right now. Um, I think everyone has seen that, like the corporations are all like they've gone mask off, right, and shown and shown their true malicious nature, nature, and we all know. And so, every, like, there's everyone's. I think there's a big movement towards just like doing your own thing and like. Now with like Patreon and stuff, like getting getting self published, you know what I mean, right? Let's see, uh, haven't checked out, haven't checked it out since it was Cyberpunk, but we do, yeah, yeah, no, it's way better than fucking, like, like the like the game, you know what I mean? Is like I feel like, like, yeah, you know, I was disappointed too. I was a big C CDPR fan, and like you know that really. It, they, they made me not a fan, okay? They made me not a fan, which is not something I like, you know what I mean? But, like, um, I don't know. Like, it's just, it's just, a, I don't know. It's just a thing, you know what I mean? It's just a thing. Let's see. But, like, but the show is really good, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I really enjoyed how the show came out, and that, like, that just reflects on 
how good our like the the trigger people are. And you know you should watch you should watch the um the dub. I I think the dub is really good. You know what I mean? Um, okay, we've got a cool military one. Okay. Dude, look at this guy. <laughs> He's like, I'm the fairy princess. I'm going to whoop your ass and do a little bit of ballet in between. You know, and they're like, damn, dude. Do a little, do a little skip, you know, do a little, do a little curtsy as you, as you get murdered, you know. Let's see. I, so, I feel sort of like they saw Arcane and was like, we need one of those jinxes when they made Rebecca. Arcane looks so good. I was sort of surprised when I heard Gus from Breaking Bad voice the main bad guy in Ed Edge, Edge Runners. You know, it's kind of distracting. I'll be honest. I don't really like, like, whenever I hear his voice in the show, I just think of like Gus. You know, so I'm like, like, I don't know. Like his performance was good, but it was a little distracting because of his other characters. You know what I mean? So like. I, I don't really think, like, I don't know, like, whose fault that is. It's just something that's, like, a little distracting. You know what I mean? Let's see. Cyberpunk tried to be topical, satirical about corporate, corporate corruption and consumerism and all this stuff at the core. It was fundamentally all those things. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, all the products now. All the products by big companies are, like, like, Especially, like, movies are like, oh, do you, don't you hate that we're so greedy and, like, horrible? And, like, we're like, just because you make fun of yourselves doesn't make you look better. Like, just because you're self-aware, like, if, if anything, makes it worse. You know what I mean? But, yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I agree. I agree. Um, but the game itself, like, you know, like, the narrative and stuff, I thought was good. Like, all the stuff that people made and, like, the stuff, the, the actual game itself was, like, besides all the glitches, I felt like was pretty solid. Like, the world and stuff, it was compelling, right? Um, but the, like, you know, all the stuff around the game, you know what I mean? And, like, it's like, that's no good, you know what I mean? Which, you know, sours the taste, you know what I mean? Definitely. Let's see. Oh, Cthulhu Hand Luke? Hey, what's up, dude? So he said, yo, what up? And I'm like, hey, what's up? How's it going, man? Looks like everybody's uh, joining the stream, you know what I mean? From here and there, you know what I mean? That's cool. Uh, so we have homeless man. He's getting a little drink. Yeah. That's cool. Let's see. I like how they dared to kill the main characters for trivial, for trivially though. Like the guy with the long arms just died out of nowhere. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. No, yeah, yeah. Like they're willing, they're definitely willing to like kill the main characters. You know what I mean? Like, or some of the some of the main characters, right? Yeah. Um, but because that's that's the world. Like, the, I like that they what they got right was definitely the the idea of cyberpunk of like like you know you're raised in this environment and you're taught about being a legend, right? And like like it's all about like trying to reinforce that idea, right? And then like you do horrible shit and that like to create your legend and like you know you, you either end up like with cyber psychosis or just dead you know what i mean like and usually one leads to the other right so it's like it's like a vicious cycle and that's the way the city runs and like you know what i mean and like and like and that's viewed as like a good thing you know what i mean so it's kind of like cool way of like like looking at the way it, like dreams are you know what i mean yeah let's see Whose sketches are we looking at? We're looking at Kim Jong Gi's work, right? Um, you know, he recently passed away. I don't know if you know about this, uh, Cthulhu, but yeah, Kim Jong Gi passed away, and you know, it's really unfortunate. So we're just looking through his work and you know, trying to talk about it. And, you know, trying to talk about you know, we're just chatting. You know what I mean? Trying to remember him and the great work that he did. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's see. Haven't seen that since like Red Dead One. Straight up killing your main character. Yeah. Let's see. Are you do Are you still doing submitted art reviews? I would love to see some of my own work for critique. 
Um, yeah, I mean, stockings, yeah, like, send it in. I have uh, on my Reddit page, um, like, there's there's a, a set, like, a way to submit. Like, it should be tagged on the top of the subreddit, right? You can look at one of my descriptions. You'll probably find a link to the Reddit. Um, yeah, just click that, and then there's the, I'll, I already listed the rules. Just submit it, and let, let me see your work, dude, yeah. I just, like, I, I, I do have, um, actually, I have uh, Cthulhu, um, and his work in the, in the, uh, what is it called, in the, um, in the queue, and I need you, with this as a second person, I, I would need a third person to submit their work, uh, before I could do a video, but if we, if we could get three people, then I'll, I'll do another, um, critique video, right, uh, let's see, yeah, man, at 47, insane, he was such an amazing dude, yeah, dude, I, I can't believe it, dude, um, I don't know. I think he, he just died too young, man. Like it's so it's so insane how it happened. I think we're all like the all artists are just kind of recovering, you know, right? <laughs> Look at that, dude. You know, we're all just recovering by looking at his beautiful artwork. You know, just trying to remember what he was all about, dude. You know, and this this right here, dude. This is what he was all about, dude. You know what I mean? Yep. There you go. Let's see. Okay, I will do it soon. Thank you. I have a lot from my five or so sketchbooks. Kim Jong Gi is younger than my dad. It's actually crazy, dude. That's I don't know, dude. I can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah, go, but yeah, go ahead. And show me your work, dude. You know, I'm 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 always excited to see uh, people from my fan base and what their artwork looks like, right? All right, uh, 253. We are getting there, guys. We are we're making our way. We are making our way. You can see we're definitely getting into like like actual sketchbook territory. You know what I mean? Less less finished drawings, more works in progress or like works that were made quickly and just you know they're sketches. Yeah, basically. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean. Again, kind of like tamed compared to what we've already seen. We got horses and shit. That's cool. Look at that, look at that neck cut, dude. He's like that um, that character from uh, Revengeance that like can, you know, like you know what I mean. Separate his body parts. We got Skull Dog. That's cool. I like that. We got more animal guys. Okay. Ooh, we have like. Uh, young geisha woman or something young spiritual woman like, I, I, something with something about that hat gives me like a spiritual vibe shibari hime I don't know what that is some kind of princess I don't know uh, let's see we have a large scene right here and I guess they're oh they're lowering a coffin I think or, or they're lowering a Egyptian coffin. Yeah, a sarcophagus. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! They're, they're unloading. They're they're bringing it up. Okay, so they're they're discovering it and they're like, oh, we gotta bring it out. Okay, that's cool. This guy, ooh, he's just uh, just guy sketching. Yeah. Uh, love the old Asian style pipes. Yeah. Yeah, the really long ones, like, you know, that's that's really cool. Devilman. Me. Yeah. Just a guy with a gun, that's cool. Some women's tied up, okay. Yeah, see, we're, we're definitely in, like, sketchbook territory now, dude. Just random sketches. I didn't notice he got like got a little, a little mini guy right here. That's cool. Shibari kinky rope binding Hime princess. Okay. Is this from his early sketchbooks? He was way looser than I thought. 
Um, yeah, this is from his um, 2011 sketchbook. So it's I think it's his earliest sketchbook, but, you know, earlier in the video, once this is over, you could look at it. Um, there is, like, much more of his, like, tighter drawings. This is just his... Now, now we're in the, like, real sketchbook territory. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's cool. I like that. It's sexy. It's very nice. I, got, I like this little angel guy, too. Yeah. <laughs> Almost every page, there's, there's something a little sexy, dude. You know what I mean? Let's see. It's really late here, so I'm going to go to bed, it, but it was fun catching up a bit of the stream. I'll watch the recorded version tomorrow. Hey, dude, yeah, see you later, man. You know, I didn't, like, like, uh, unfortunately, you know, I don't know when people are in, throughout the, the world, but, you know, like, you, you'll, you'll be able to watch it later, right? Yeah, it was nice having you around. See you, see you next time, dude. Okay. What do we got here? What's going on here? Oh, he's drawing the, the, the bones. I was like, what what's this like leg this leg thing right here? He's drawing the bones. Okay, he's 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 trying out like the the uh, more brush pen stuff. Okay. Oh, we have Kim Jong gi and I guess his uh, his two girls and his uh, wife. They're going out, you know, to the mountains. That's cool. That's cute, dude. Come on. That's wholesome as fuck, dude. Dude, this is cool. Wow. Look at all the detail, dude. Wow, dude. That's a cool... Dude, look at that. Wow. Cars are hard to draw, dude. If you want to get good at drawing draw cars man okay like a technical drawing dude like cars are complicated as fuck dude okay so i i am i am very impressed by this oh it's the animal guys dude he i i think he really wanted to make this like a series or something this is cool though yeah this is awesome i didn't know that i didn't know this the, the animal series is like like a like a like a car series too. Dude, this is cool. Look at that. She's kinda hot, dude. I like that. Oh, one guy loses control. Oh shit, dude. No the friend of the hero, dude. Oh shit. Boom. Boom. Oh crap, dude. Oh shit. Perspective's kind of off on this guy right here. Like, he's he's like a giant compared to the car, dude. Yeah, he should be smaller. Or like, uh, like more to so the right, I don't know. Let's see, what other art book reviews can we expect to see in the future? Um, right now, I'm working on um, a Gurren Lagan art book review, right? It's just been so big that I, I need more time working on it. You know what I mean? Um, so hopefully I'll have that ready by next week. Uh, I've been thinking about doing some more streams, right? I've been doing thinking about like doing like a, like maybe one week I do a stream, the next week I do like like an art book review because some of these art book reviews, they're, they're really hard to get finished because they're so long. So maybe I could I could do like a different format. See, when I, when I stream, I feel like it's looser and I could, you know, like there's more acceptance of mistakes and shit. So when, when I'm doing like my actual recording, I feel like I have to be like perfect. The audio has to be really good. Right. But these streams allow me to be a little bit more looser and, you know, like, and it's cool. Cause I get to, um, what do you call it? Um, engage with you guys. Let's see. So yeah, the Gurren Lagan book is what we have, uh, what I have planned for, for next week let's see true that cat car art is always a whole beast i met a guy who did a concept for chrysler super technical yeah 
Yeah, I'm, t- dude, I'm telling you, dude, card drawings are just fucking, they're hard, man. They're just difficult. It's like a whole different part of your brain. You know what I mean? Let's see. So we have, um... Yeah, I'm telling you, dude, this, this must have been like a whole, like, comic that he was wanting to make or something. You know, very, very similar to, like, Black Sad, right? Um... Let's see. Damn, dude, we got some crazy-ass scenes. Yeah, dude, this is very... He was invested in this. He, I think he wanted to do something here. A very, like, adult, gritty, um, animal thing, right? Yeah. This is cool, though. Like, I'm like, you know, he should have done something. I think he, I think he wanted to actually do something here. I wonder what the... The words were, you know what I mean? Oh, here we go. We have the tiger versus the lion, dude. That's fucking badass. Are you participating in Inktober this year? Nope. Nope. I did that one year. I finished it, and I'm never doing that again, okay? Can't do that. Not doing that anymore. I got more important things to work on at this, at this point in my career, so... No time for uh for Inktober, unfortunately. Let's see. So we have this. Uh, this guy looks like Pooh Bear. He's like caught this guy, throws him to the ground. You know, dude. I'm telling you, this was like an entire comic. He just he just put like an entire comic in here, and I don't. I guess it, he never published it or something. It's crazy because, like, I actually feel like this could have been, like, a big thing. Got some, like, Amazon women. That's cool. Oh, they're writers? Like, what's going on here? I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, you get like a whole comic book right here. And it's, it's empty pages, so, you know, I guess technically someone could just take these and start adding ad- adding a story. Though, you know, it'd be preferable to have uh, Kim Jong-gi actually tell the story. Maybe if I look online, maybe it'll, it'll, they'll actually show us like, like a, a version with the words and everything. Because, like, he made all these drawings. They look very finished. I don't think he... I think he probably published it, right? Let's see. Kim said, The best thing to improve your art skills is to make comics. You're pretty much forced to make the the use of a lot of art fundamentals like perspective and composition. Dude, comics are fucking hard, dude. And you have to... And, like, you have to put it all into a narrative that makes sense. Like, it's... Dude... Like, comics are, like, next level, dude. You know what I mean? They're, like, a whole other game. And I'm just, like... I don't know. Like, comics are the the way... Like, are definitely a great way to improve. And you have to do... It's so much art. It's so much drawing. Right? Like... It's just the amount, dude. You know? It's, it's, a, it's a daunting project. And to make it all, like, you know, good and consistent, right? Like, you know, like, making a comic is hard, but, like, you know, making a good comic, that's, like, that's that's even harder, dude. Like, I, I, I respect uh, comic book artists, you know what I mean? And mangaka, you know, like, people who just make um, narrative pieces, especially, like, long ones, you know what I mean? It's crazy, dude. But, you know, people who do it well, the work is fantastic dude and it inspires a lot of people look at this dude there's like there's like a whole freaking comic in here dude there's like a whole graphic novel in here I don't I don't know I don't know what the hell oh wait see uh, I think I think it's shifted because these are regular people these are not animal people yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so these are just multiple comics that he might have done. I don't know what's going on, though. 
We got tigers in the city. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. So, I guess it was a, it was an idea that he went pretty far with. I'm I'm sure he like I, I'm like I wonder why he didn't finish. Let's see. There was an old anime about an anthro rabbit samurai MC Usagi something Jimbo. I get major vibes from this comic. I grew. I bet he grew up with it. I know what you're talking about. I don't know what it was called though. I know what you're talking about. I don't. I, I can't remember the name. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's see our progress. How far are we? Okay, we're almost done, guys. We got 20 more pages, so we're almost done. We're gonna we're gonna wrap this up soon. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, if you guys hear background noise, I'm, I apologize. I have no control over that, you know, but whatever. We're just going to keep moving forward. We got some ramen. Oh, that's cute, dude. Look at that. You know, it's... I feel like you see a lot of beautiful food art that's like, like paintings, you know what I mean? But you never really see it in, like, line work form, right? So seeing, like, this beautiful ramen bowl in line work is it's it's really appealing it's really nice you know what i mean and it's not too simplified it's like it's it's got the right amount of you know what i mean yeah that's really cool um okay we got some restaurants some storefronts oh okay he actually finished it that's nice Did he finished these yeah, yeah yeah he finished them that's really cool These kind of look like Japanese symbols, so maybe they visited Japan. Like, I guess they're eating ramen, so yeah. Hmm. Got the big fish markets in Japan, that's cool. Okay. We can't finish out without a woman, okay. Ah, dude, this is so annoying. This is the fucking... It's like the fourth time this has happened. Give me a second. We just need to refresh. Just need a little refresh. That will be good. Okay. All right. Let me uh, full screen. Boop. All right. Okay, Kim Jong Gi at at the office or some shit. Okay. Just hanging around. Ooh. A little bit of drawing. Always packing up. Okay, a couple more sketches. Oh, this guy just got his ass fucking smacked, dude, by the devil, dude. And that's it. All right, guys. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So, let's see if we can find a nice image to end on. And we will enter the review portion. Let's see. What, what, let's go towards the beginning, because that's where his more, more, like, illustrative stuff is. Okay, come on, come on. What do we got? What do we got? Little animal guys, that's that's cool, but not not what I'm looking for. Let's see. Uh, Neo Nazi guy, perfect. Dude. Let's see, let's see. What can we end on? Do do we end on Brett Michaels, dude? Let's see. You know what? Hold on. I think I know exactly. Oh my fucking god. You know what? Fuck this. I, I got an idea. I have an idea. And a perfect way to remedy the situation. Okay, perfect. 
Um, let's see. What's the most difficult aspect of being an artist to you? Um, I guess uh, getting an audience, probably getting an audience, or um, acceptance of the career choice. I guess you know what I mean from others. Yeah, I don't know. That's it. That's a that's a big question. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, we're gonna enter. We're entering the review portion of this book. So, um, you know, I'm going to have to, you know, cut things off um, and, and, you know, get ready for the end. Uh, but, yeah, I really enjoyed this art book. Um, Kim jong Gi, you know, um, like a lot, a lot of stuff um, that's just great about his work. You know what I mean? Like, he's a legendary artist. You know what I mean? He was a, he was a living legend for a very long time. Uh, but, you know, unfortunately, you know shit happen you know what i mean like you know art took a very big blow that day you know what i mean all artists i think took a really big blow that day it was is you know it's it's very unfortunate but um his memory lives on you know what i mean his work will always exist so you know to inspire others and you know i think we should remember him not for what happened at the end but for just his artwork and how he inspired people and the good things that his life had brought right um yeah this art book is fantastic kim jung Gi's work is great you know um like and his work should be celebrated like as it is as it is always um yeah i had a really good time i hope you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this review um, those of you in the stream, I hope you guys enjoyed this, this time together. We could chat about it, you know, chat about art. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to open myself more to a live stream format um, and try to get, like, you know, more into, like, interaction with you guys. You know what I mean? Um, it's fun, dude. It's fun, right? Um, yeah, rest in peace, Kim jong Gi. Um, you know, I, I hope your, 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 your spirit is at peace somewhere out there. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please, if you enjoyed it, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Check out my Prince and Patreon if you want to support the channel. Uh, ring that bell for notification. Uh, consider becoming a channel member. All that bullshit. And I'll catch you guys 